Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick video because how to grow a following on Instagram has changed a little bit. So I wanted to just show you guys what I've been doing to reach new people in a very authentic, easy way. It doesn't take a lot of time. You just have to put it on your to-do list and make sure you're doing it every single day. Um, so I'm going to share my screen and show you my Instagram profile. So hopefully you can see this here. This is my Instagram profile. I make sure that I'm sharing on my story on a daily basis. Basically, the ins and outs of what I'm eating, it doesn't have to be, it's kind of like snapshots of what you're doing. So little snippets of what you're eating, make sure you're sharing your shake every single day, but be discreet about it. Don't just blast Shakeology, just say superfood shake, or I love my dense nutrition, or I love that it's like six salads and little tidbits. So people are wondering, what are you drinking? So that they'll ask you instead of going to Google Shakeology. So be a little discreet. Uh, make sure you're posting about challenger successes, about your family life, your home life, food you're eating, um, things you enjoy. So for me, it's home decor. It's spending time with my family. It is <laughs> lashes. I posted about that this morning. Um, and then just like sprinkling in before afters. So you notice I'm covering up Shakeology in this picture. So I'm just very making sure that I'm posting two to three times a day. They don't have to be amazing pictures. I use an app called Dark Room, and it helps me lighten my photos and get them all kind of like a consistent color, but totally up to you. It does not have to be super um, like same one color like I do it. It's just my OCD ways. So the next thing I do, you have to do this from a phone because you can't message people from your computer. So while I'm on my computer, it won't let me, but I search things like hashtags that would be similar to me. So for me, it's like mom blogs. And then when I find a blog that I like or a picture that I like, let's go to this one. So you see it has 12,000 followers and 188 comments. This girl's in LA. So she most likely has a lot of followers that are moms. So then what I would go through is on your phone on this side here, you will see like follow or whatever you can click follow or you can click on the girls commenting and the three dots at the top where your phone is you can send a really simple message and what I do is make sure to like and comment on their pictures if it's not a private account so say for example this one I'm gonna go like like the top 10 pictures and comment on like two or three of them. And you can do this from your phone a lot faster. So then I would send a message. So the three dots on your phone will have these options and it will also say send message. And I would say something like, oh my gosh, I don't know how I stumbled upon, uh, like across your Instagram. You have the cutest little family. I love your profile. I have two little girls as well, or something really, really simple. Um, if they're not a mom, all you have to say is, I love your shirt, I love your dog, oh my gosh, your profile is so cute, it looks like you're into fitness, and based on their account, you can just send them really something super simple. So again, you can search any hashtag, coffee <laughs> is one that I search a lot. Anybody with like coffee lifestyle, um, she's from Australia, but you could still like send her a message um, or like her pictures. Okay, so it's pretty simple. <laughs> you can kind of go on a rabbit trail from there. I do like 20 to 30 accounts like this. And I send those messages out. Some people, if I see that they're into fitness or sharing what they eat anyway, um, I'll send a message even inviting them or wondering if they're a coach or ask them. So along with this video, I'm posting some examples of what I say to people, what I just send them a message, very simple, like, hey, love your profile, anything like that to connect with them. And then just make sure on your um, Instagram page that you are posting every single day that you're sharing your story, inviting to the opportunity, sharing what you have to offer, all that kind of stuff. So that when somebody connects with you and when they see, Oh, so-and-so sent me a message and they go to your page, 
they can see within the first three pictures or your Instagram story, like the first three pictures, there should be something about, you know, you talking about why you love coaching or your next challenge group or your fitness journey or something. So they know that they can join you or that there's an opportunity um, for them to join. So it doesn't have to be salesy. It doesn't have to be weird, but reaching out to people that you would most likely connect with anyway. Um, and it's a great way to meet people. It's a great way to build your page. It's a great way to bring people in and new eyes on your page every day. Um, so again, I do 20 to 30, like little messages to people. Um, I just call it like a compliment little pocket. So 10 minutes, um, and just go compliment people, send them messages, say hello. Um, you don't have to be like, Hey, buy my product. That's not what we're about. Because whether they buy a product or not, at the end of the day, we get to share our journeys and it's not up to us for them to buy a product at the end of the day. It's just making sure that we get our word out there and our stories out there for the right people to find us. So it is our job <laughs> to go find a lot of people to see our story. And that's how an effective coach can reach people without being spammy or selly or tacky or weird. So go like people's pictures, go compliment them, go share that you really enjoy their profiles. Um, and it's not hard to find people, just search hashtags, um, you know, the area you live, or, um, you know, if people have liked or commented on your pictures, you can go to their profile and add their friends. Um, again, mom blogs or, um, you know, dog mom or, boss lady or I don't know, boss lady might just bring up a bunch of entrepreneurs that already are in a network marketing business, but interests that you have knitting, um, sewing, fashion, fashion bloggers, um, coffee lifestyle. Those are things that I'm into mom of girls, um, home design. So I have found a lot of, you know, home decor, like designers on Instagram and I like connect with people that are liking and following those people's pages. So it's a great easy way to create a following. And then in my Instagram stories, I'm always talking about what I'm doing and my challenge groups and the coaching opportunity. And then in the team, obviously we're making sure that we're sharing sneak peeks and, you know, we're posting about our challenge groups so that there's like a sneak peek always on our page of what we have to offer and that we want them to be a part of it. So always bringing people in, always engaging people. You have to be the first one to reach out. I know it's kind of weird and kind of scary at first, but once you start doing it, you'll realize people are just like you and a compliment goes a long way. And who knows, you know, if they're needing a friend that day or just wanting to have a conversation or maybe, you know, needing what you have to offer. So this is a great way to be non-salesy, but to reach a lot of new people. They're going to start following you. They'll start watching you. Um, trust me when I say they watch you. So even if they don't respond right away, don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. Just do um, whatever you can a day. So, you know, there was a time when I was doing like 50 of these a day. Um, if it's just liking their pictures and commenting, even if you're not ready to send a message, sending a message goes a long way. Um, so I encourage that at least, you know, 10 messages, five to 10 messages like that. But compliments are easy to send. It's a great way to connect for them to be like, oh, who is this person? And they'll go to your profile. So make sure your profile is set to public. Make sure you're posting about your journey and what you have to offer and sharing on your Instagram stories, fun little things in your day, like the average normal stuff. Um, and talking about your current challenge group, talking about your current team, your current team is going to be the same team, <laughs> but um, how incredible we are, how awesome the opportunity is and get people excited. So once they go to your page, they can get a feel for you being real and authentic and, you know, somebody that could really support and help them in whatever their goals are. So hopefully this helped. Have a good day.